up, Steeples? We are going to go over the Mystic Ninja cards today. We're going to see what cards you're going to want to draft and what cards we could see in a constructed Zen deck. So let's get into that. Uh, Zen cards coming up. All right, let's talk about Zen, our Tiger guy, our bald Katsu. Um, you know, whatever you want to call him. Either way, he is our ninja of this set. Um, Zin's going to be interesting. I think his ability allows you to have some very interesting turns with Katsu. You were going for that big combo turn. Zin's ability helps with that. Um, and it's not even like an on hit, right? So you can kind of get around with them blocking all your attacks. So I kind of like Zen in the fact that you can have these big combo turns uh, without needing starters per se. So um, you do need some Chi though. So you will need to start transcending if you're going to be playing Zen. Uh, I think Zen could be played in or will be seen played in Blitz uh, just for the fact that people like to play Crouching Tigers. I'm not sure how competitive he can be, but uh, I'm hopeful. I'm not 100% sure on Blitz. As far as for CC, I think he might be one of the least in the meta. But um, if one person finds finds the deck, uh, I could see Zen being the most popular. Because I do think that people tend to like aggressive decks most. Uh, 12 Petal Kasaya. I'm not sure how you say that word, to be honest. But anyways, uh, this is, an, again, just like really encouraging you to play with the transcend cards, playing with the chi cards. Gaining one resource just whenever you transcend is pretty gnarly, especially because like you basically get a free, you get a free resource, right? And then you can just create a Zin uh, state token. Uh, that part, you're probably only going to use if you're going against the, the aggro matchup, I think really the first line of text is really where you want it to be. It's a chest that blocks for two, which Ninja has never had access to, uh, other than like the Yorii, the Blazekin Yorii, but there's situations had to be met there. So anyways, uh, so I think this is probably gonna be played with Zen over the Tunic, uh, especially with how many times you do want to transcend. Uh, Heirloom of Tiger Hide. Uh, blade break, but it blocks for three. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, having to be at exactly one health, not as big into that. So probably not drafting this too high, despite it being a rare. Uh, it's just it can be hard to manipulate your life to be at one health, and it's also extremely risky. Uh, Stride of reprisal, though, uh, this is actually really nice. You know, being able to block and then create a crouching tiger, dope. Uh, if you see in your hand that you're going to need a Crashing Tiger to make your hand, you know, really work, then this is perfect. Uh, so I do like Stride of Reprisal. Uh, Tooth and Claw, a zero for four. That blocks for three, say less. <laughs> but it also has all these other stuff too. So like if you had a Tooth and Claw, you know, and Stride of Reprisal, you know, then you can block with that and then Tooth and Claw gets a little bit better, right? I do think Stride of Reprisal probably doesn't beat... The other crouching tiger leg um, so I don't think you'll see constructed play uh, but tooth and claw I could see being a constructed play because uh, it could be a zero four go again um, or zero for five or obviously you know zero for five draw a card go again yeah I think this card is going to be played this is something you really want especially with like predatory streak this card could be very very gnarly actually I think Pressure Street puts them in your banish on. You do need the tiger in your hand, so that is make sure you have tigers that go in your hand. Uh, but like this one, this one creates two tigers in your hand, right? Whenever you play a crush tiger this turn, name a card, it gets that name. Uh, that could be fun, you know, that it could, you know, work with other combo cards that we've, you know, had in the past, like spinning wheel kick, 100 wins, um, or just like, you know, could be a combo starter, you know, fuck it, could be. Descendant Gust Wave or something, the Surging Strike, you know, whatever it needs to be, right? It's pretty cool that Crashing Tiger gets to have that, but on top of that, um, this card really only becomes good if you get to play it with Chi. That's why I like it that it's blue, because if you don't have it when you have Chi in your hand, 
or a way to make a chi in your hand, then you can just pitch it because it's a blue and it's a block three and it's really nice. And it doesn't have to cost zero with Zen because you're using Zen's weapon more than likely. Uh, Sacred Art Jade Tiger Domain. All right, so this is his legendary card that allows us to transcend to make this chi. So we're definitely going to be playing this if we're playing Zen. Um, you know, creating two tigers in our hands, that could be just fine on its own. Uh, but really, it's the second line of text I think that you really want. So even if you didn't play another blue card this turn, you could choose the second line of text, and that's probably still fine. Uh, but yeah, if you get all three of these go off, uh, that's insane. It's great. Uh, so Sacred... All right, I mean, yeah, this is a legendary for a reason. It's so, so good. Um, okay, Wind Chakra um it's okay like it does bump up our uh crouching tigers and that's pretty nice um especially because our crouch tigers come in for zero if they're not played so i'm out of all the chakras i like zens the most because they actually provide value where value wasn't there um but it's not something that i am totally like into as far as limited i would probably draft them at a decent i like the blues just because stuff like this that once you play another blue card and it gives your tiger plus one and then if you transcend it gives plus three i think the blue is actually pretty good uh the red and yellow i would probably pick later on in the draft uh and then as far as in limited i don't think we're gonna see these or so I didn't construct that. I don't think we're gonna see these. Companion of the Claw. Tag, if you pitch the blue card, create your crouch tiger in your hand. See, stuff like this makes putting tigers in your hand very easy uh, to make Tooth and Claw work very well. So that's why I very much like Tooth and Claw. Companion of the Claw, pretty good. I think, you know, like pitching a blue to play Companion of the Claw makes perfect sense. Uh, also, you get a tiger after that. I mean, that's cool. Um, two for four go again is you know a little bit below right but then get a tiger in your hand which can help you become at right or above right uh you know i don't mind paint claw too too much i i think i will draft it you know and be okay with drafting it. i think i'd want to make as much tiger generation as i possibly can but uh i like and constructed i'm not sure if this is going to get played there's i think there's just some better cards out there uh harmony of the hunt i like a little bit better than companion of the claw uh this i can i don't have to pitch a blue basically i can just pitch red if need be and one for three to go again is whatever <laughs> like zero for three to go again is really what i want right uh, but yeah pitch that blue and getting the tiger i think is good i could see harmony of the hunt making constructed I, I do like it in limited quite a bit. Um, it's a little bit easier to work with your staff. So that's why I like Harmony of the Hunt a little over Companion of the Claw. Uh, but I could actually see this be played and constructed because you can come in with this and then swing with the staff and then come in with that tiger that will now hit for one because you swung in with the staff. So for blue, you get to have, uh, what is it? Six points of value. That's not bad. All right. Tiger form incantation, another way to pitch up your tigers. Um, this basically is a one for four with go again. It's not an attack action, but that's okay. I think I definitely like this in limited, especially the red. The red's very good value. The blue ain't bad value either. It allows me to play a blue and then you know have synergies from other stuff that wants me to play blue first. Um, but um, I could even see this possibly get played and constructed. Um, I, it's just not bad on the value. I yeah, I could see this gameplay, but probably in limited is where its real home is. It's it's very very good limited, um, and then that that's it. That's our Mystic Ninja. There's not like like with all the other classes, there's not a lot within just Mystic Ninja, but um, I think these are like just cards that are kind of needed to add the tigers to to your hand. Uh, Tooth and Claw is very good card. Uh, obviously his legendary card is a very good card so uh, if you're looking to do ninja tiger uh yeah i think i think zin's a very good one to go i know you can do some cool stuff with katsu but i think zin is probably where you want to be uh, but yeah that is our mystic ninja so uh, we'll be sure to even cover the regular ninja in an another video uh so be sure to check out those videos as well but until then keep on fabbing Thank you.